Hey everyone, so today I'm back with a few items that I picked up from Creative Beauty that I'd love to share with you guys. I've got some more summer colors to share with you before summer is officially over. I picked up a few glitters as well and some crystal pixies from Swarovski because I actually don't own any and I've been dying to get some. So if you'd like to see more in regards to this mini haul, stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you can see, I picked up some gel polishes from um, the Lacket brand. I've got a transfer foil, I've got some Glitter Boutique Canada glitters because now Creative Beauty also sells these. So you have the option of buying it from the Glitter Boutique Canada website or you can actually pick them up from Creative Beauty as well. I've got my Swarovskis and I got this Fusion Collection. I love the packaging of this. Like I just love how it like fades away. Anyway, so today I'm just going to quickly share these items with you. I will do a swatch of these in this video and then I'll save this Fusion for co Collection, sorry, for a separate video. So let's just get into it. And for those of you that like to see what I do on my nails, here's a quick look. I kept this one simple. I wanted something bright summery you know summer's almost finished so i figured i want to do this and i wanted something quick too so i just went with this i really really love these ones guys like i loved how these turned out so much and i'm gonna be sad when i have to take them off so first i'll be sharing these items that came in this little um individual packet so these were just packaged together but there are like obviously separate things that i did order First up I ordered this transfer foil and this one is Icy Heather and it's like a purple hollow transfer foil. I really said that I'm going to start playing around more with transfer foil so I'm starting to buy them slowly. I hate taking them out though because it's like once you take them out you can never get them back in but here's just a quick look of what it looks like. Like look how pretty that is man. I cannot handle how gorgeous this is. But yeah I was saying like once you unravel them sometimes they can be a real pain in the butt to get back in to like a container like this so I've got to find like a storage idea to store these maybe so they're not in all of these containers if I buy separate ones like these and then I don't know if you remember the video where I got the big um, case with I think I had like eight of them it was a winter one I'll link the video in the cards though and this are my Swarovski crystal pixies this one is the cute mod mood well, cute mute mood. I obviously can't speak. <laughs> okay, I think that's a really cute way to open this. That's adorable. And then it comes in this stunning packaging. Like I'm hoping to get some more Crystal Pixies. I want to do a set for my birthday. That's next month. So I'm hoping I can figure out something that I want to do and incorporate some of these. I'm afraid to open them because these things are so tiny. Oh, yep. Yeah. I already heard like a few drop out, but I don't know if you guys can see those. But yeah, you can even see the ones that fell in my hand. Like, look at how small they are, but look at how gorgeous they are when the light hits them as well. So I'm really excited to use these. And you do get a lot in these little jars. And I believe they have larger ones, I can't remember, but yes, I want to get some more of these as well. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to save those ones. And next, I have the two glitters that I picked up from Glitter Boutique Canada. So this one is called Copper Rose, and this one is Chill Out. I feel like I haven't done a glitter haul in a while, so there's a few brands that have some really nice glitters that I've been looking into as, along with Glitter Boutique Canada. So I'm going to try and start doing some more glitter hauls, so we'll see how that goes. Not really focusing, but there we go. Look at how pretty that is. So this one is a hexagon shaped pink, red, purple, gold, and copper glitter. So stunning. 
like this is you can do so many different ideas with this glitter you can use it for full coverage glitter gradient glitter fade the options and ideas are endless guys and i did have a little bit left back in the bag so i'm just gonna save this for when i need to refill my little jar here and the last glitter that i'll be sharing today is called chill out i think i got this one for like winter 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 nails I mean, really, you could use it whenever, but I think my idea for this was winter. Look at how pretty that is. Look at how this dances in the light, guys. And you can see, like, the difference in the shift. It is so lovely. This is a shimmery iridescent, cool blue and silver toned glitter. There's some hex glitter, some micro glitters in here. This is really, really fun. So next I'm gonna share with you the collection that I picked up from Fusion. So this is the Summer Colors 2021 collection. So this comes in their new jars. I love the look of these jars, guys. So I had um, a video that I picked up a collection where they had the larger pots and it had the new packaging. I will leave that linked as well. But this one is a, they're not the large jars. These ones are the mini ones. So this collection, it came in the mini collection. And I just love the sleekness of the packaging. Like, I think I really like like how it fades. But let's just take a quick look at it. Cause like I said, I'm not gonna swatch these ones in this video. And just like the previous collection, it does have the little dots here so you can swatch the color on the top put a little bit of um, top coat that way you know what color is in the jar so i really love this idea i think that's really cool so i'm just gonna take a quick look at these i will have a separate video showing application how i what my thoughts are so this first one here is banana split oh jeez this yellow is gorgeous guys yes this is beautiful just leave that on there for now. <laughs> this one is Beauty School Dropout. Ooh, this is a lovely pink. This one is Hot Pants. Ooh, this is a glitter one. This is really pretty too though. This one is Lime Ricky. I'm expecting this to be like a green. Maybe it'll be like a green, a green glitter, like the pink one. Ooh, not a glitter, but a very pretty green. Jeez. I have a cousin who loves green, and I think this is gonna be right up her alley. This one is my boyfriend's back. This is a really fun purple. It looks like there's some shimmer in it too, guys. And the last one is Rockin' Robin. <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded me of that tweet, tweet, tweet song I used to do growing up. Ooh, this is such a beautiful blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So here's a little sneak peek of this collection, guys. I will have a separate video. And I will do full swatches and reviews of this collection for you. So just make sure to keep your eyes out for that one as well. And lastly, I will be sharing the lacquer polishes that I did pick up in this mini haul with you. So I picked up Dive In, Flip Floppin', Margaritaville, Teeny Bean Bikini, Splish Splash, and Lemonade. And as you can see, it looks like they're all summery colors because why not? And I'm really excited to see what each of them look like. So I'm gonna and this collection, along with the Fusion collection, is the um, this one is the Lacket Summer 2021 collection. So there were six colors in this collection, and I just thought they were so fun. So let's get started, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So the first color I'll be sharing is called Dive In. <laughs> Honestly, I love the bottles. I don't know, it's just something about them that I really love. And I also like that they has like the little colors so you can get an idea of what the color is going to be like. So 
this to me is like a minty green color is very very pretty it did apply very nicely due to the pigment and the color i am seeing some lightness and sheering on this side so i am definitely gonna go in with a second coat but this color is really nice indeed Here we have dive in, in two coats as you can see with that second coat it was really opaque and it helped to build it up and give it full opacity and here we have dive in against my skin tone very very bright opaque color as you can see like at the tip of my nail you can't even see those colors under this gorgeous color here it is very opaque I did go in with two coats very very nice for summer indeed the next color I will be sharing is called flip floppin and just by the look of the bottle, this looks like it's going to be a purpley, magenta-y type of color. Ooh, this is brighter than I was expecting for sure. Definitely like a bright magenta. Here we have flip flopping in one coat very nice and opaque in real life i am seeing some sheerness just a little bit lighter here at the tip so i am gonna go in with a second coat this definitely is like a nice summer magenta color i am getting some pink undertones some purple undertones very smooth application i have no complaints <laughs> So as you can see, that second coat really helped to build it up and give it a really full and opaque coverage. I love this color. It's really, really pretty. Again, pinky undertones, purpley undertones. You can't go wrong with this, especially on a pedicure in summertime. I can see this looking so pretty on the toes. And here is flip flopping against my skin tone. Again, very opaque as you can see. You can't even see those palm trees on my thumbnail. This is another wonderful opaque color. Me personally, I don't know if I would wear it. It's one of those colors where I'd have to try it on myself and see. But I know a lot of clients that would absolutely adore this. The next color I have to share is Lemonade. Obviously, the name speaks for itself, especially with this fabulous yellow. And as you can see just by the display here with this gorgeous yellow pattern, it does look like it's going to be pretty bright. I don't know if I would say a highlighter, but let's open it and see. Ooh, this is very pretty. Very, I would say like this is a sunny yellow. But I will say it's actually fantastic for some reason. So this is a very bright summer yellow. It is not a highlighter yellow and it is not as golden as the yellow that I have on my tip. Like this one has more of like an orangey goldish undertone to it. This is like a true vibrant lemonade yellow but it is so pretty. And as we know yellows are very difficult. Usually they're streaky. This one wasn't too bad. I guarantee like with a second coat it will... Um, self level a lot nicer and I won't get that shadowing that I can see right here but I can I can I like this one this is a yellow I can see myself using it. so as I said that second coat really helped to self level everything I'm not getting that shadowing I was seeing earlier and it was really smooth like it built very very nicely and this is such an amazing yellow like look at that another fun one for summer for sure and here we have lemonade in two thin coats again another wonderful opaque color this is such a fun and bright yellow for summer I don't know like come winter months Unless you want to use it as a pick-me-up, but summer for sure, it's so vibrant and very, very pretty. 
All right, and the next polish I have to share is called Margaritaville. In all honesty, I don't even know if I've actually had a margarita. I can't remember. I probably have, and I just don't remember. And just by the outside of the bottle here, it looks like this is going to be a very bright green. Oh, just as I expected. Very bright. I want to call this like a very bright lime green. So here we have one coat of Margaritaville. Honestly, I thought the application was going to be a bit thinner for some reason. I don't know, I guess because of the color, but it did surprise me. It was more opaque than I was expecting. We are seeing some um, like shadowing in between here, so I'm definitely, and right here too, oh my god, I touched it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go in with a second coat, but other than that, it was very smooth out. And here is Margaritaville at the second coat. As I said, built up very nicely with that second coat. I am not getting that shadowing in this general area here that I was seeing earlier. So I really, really appreciate that. My camera is making this more of a minty green, but it is really more of like a lime green. I swear to you guys. I wish my camera would pick it up more true to life, but this is what we're just gonna have to deal with for now, okay? <laughs> But yes, it was very nice. I love the application. I really love the vibrancy of this color. It's really pretty. And here is what Margaritaville looks like against my skin tone. Very, very vibrant lime green. Again, my camera is making it a lot lighter than it is, but it is a bit darker, but more vibrant as well. It looks a bit muted on camera. I really wish this would pick up true to life because this is such a pretty color. The second lash color the second last color I have to share is called Splish Splash and just by here it looks like a very nice, I want to say baby blue, sky blue, but let's see. Ooh, yes. So again, this is showing up a bit more brighter than it is. I want to, it's not a sky blue, it's like a medium blue, that's what I would call this. A medium blue, I just wish it would show up more true to life. And here we have one coat of Splish Splash. This is a very pigmented blue. I loved the application. It was so smooth, very, very creamy. I am seeing just a little bit of shadowing over here. You guys probably aren't seeing it, but I can see it. Just because of that, I would go in with a second coat. But other than that, maybe if I did just a thicker, just a little bit thicker, I could have gotten away with just one. But it is still gorgeous. Now. And here is Splish Splash against my skin tone. Again, a very, very beautiful blue. You could actually use this in the winter too. Like, it is showing up more sky blue, like I said. But in real life, it's more of a medium blue and it's not as bright as my camera is picking it up. But you could use this as a base for like winter nail art, maybe winter snowflakes. It is such a lovely blue. And the last color I have to share with you is called Teeny Bikini. So this looks like it's going to be a coral just by these little dots here. Oh yes, most definitely a coral. It's almost the exact same color I'm seeing in real life. This I would consider it more of like a vibrant neon -y coral. But it's showing up more 
muted and peachy in my camera. teeny bikini in just one coat again very smooth great coverage I am seeing some shadowing just over here so I am gonna go in with a second coat I will say this is showing up more of a peachy coral than what it is in real life it has more of a vibrant neon um, pigmentation to it so it is a lot brighter than how my camera is picking it up so it is more coral than it is peach And here's Teeny Bikini in the second coat. So as you can see, that second coat really helped with the shadowing that I was getting along here. And it's such a pretty color. It is such a gorgeous coral for summertime for sure. And here is Teeny Bikini against my skin tone. Again, my camera's picking it up as more of a peachy coral. This is more like a neon coral and it's not as muted. It actually is very vibrant. It's such a nice color. And I can see this working really well for pedicures in the summer as well. And here we have it for my Creative Beauty haul. Honestly, guys, I really, really, really love the Lacket Summer Collection that I picked up. I think the colors are perfect and the application was spectacular i have absolutely no complaints if you're able to get your hands on this collection i would strongly suggest that you did of course i'm loving my glitters i actually need to do another glitter haul and then share it with you guys so i'll try to do that sometime soon and i will try to get this um fusion summer collection swatch and share with you guys asap as well as always guys thank you so much for tuning into my videos please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and if you have any comments and or questions, make sure to leave them down below for me as well. If you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go ahead and give it a share. Until next time, stay glamorous.